Michael from Bro JMR, and this is episode 55 of What's in the Bag. This is actually a reshoot because I shot this about a month and a half ago, and when I went to go edit it, everything, like the file was corrupt, and I was like, dang, not to redo it. But hopefully I can make it a little tighter, a little shorter, a little more concise just for you. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with some New Line Platinum Series stuff. The first one being Lost in Space. I've never seen this flick before. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but it's got several good people in it, so maybe it's okay. I know it's based on the old TV show, but I know that it always doesn't necessarily mean a good cast is a good movie. So, next one is Austin's Power. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. I already have this, found this for a buck, picked it up. Just like I had a New Line Platinum Series edition of it. I already have it on Blu-ray, so there we go. Uh, the next one is The Lawnmower Man. Unfortunately, I'll never be able to open and put this movie into my collection because it is factory sealed. Um, this came out in, I believe, 1997. So this has been sealed for 20 years. And so that's really, actually, really, really cool. Um... I've never seen this movie before. Um, I don't know anything about it. I'm hoping, I've ever since I got this, I've been on the lookout for it for, to get it on Blu-ray or just even find another copy of it on DVD. But, because um, I am kind of interested in this flick, but I think it's really neat that it's factory sealed after 20 years, and so that's staying that way. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is some steel books. I got a steel book DVD here of The Boondock Saints. Uh, this is a uh, steelbook.com exclusive. I have not been able to find very much information about this particular um, release of it, so I don't know like how rare it is. But the fact that I really can't find a lot on it, maybe that says something. I don't know. But found this for pretty cheap, was able to pick it up, and it's uh, even though we already have the Blu-ray of it, it's still a really neat packaging. That's the back side of it. It's just the, the Iron Cross, or the, the, the Celtic Cross, I mean. And so uh, it, it's actually a really nice thing, kind of a, a 3D effect to it, so it's really cool. Uh, the next one is a Target Steelbook exclusive. It is Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. This is a brand new animated movie uh, done in the style of the old 60s cartoon. Um, it uh, They actually... Um, as I'm reading this now, uh, Adam West, Burt Ward, and Julie Newmar um, did the voices of Batman, Robin, and Catwoman. And so that's really cool that they were able to get some of the original voices, voice actors back. So that, that's pretty neat. Um, next one is uh, Jason Bourne, the final, well, the latest Jason Bourne movie. This is actually a 4K Ultra HD um, Blu-ray disc. But it does come with the original, a regular Blu-ray in it, so we were able to find it. This is the only way we were able to find it on Steelbook, which is kind of sucks because um, here anymore, a lot of the times, the Steelbooks are getting um, exclusive releases on the 4K format, which kind of sucks because that means instead of paying 20 bucks for it, or maybe 25, we're having to pay 30 or 35 dollars for it because it is the 4K release, and that just sucks so uh, the next thing I picked up uh, I got this at half price books for three bucks it's the uh, Star Wars trilogy um, it's another another just another version of Star Wars you can never have too many versions of Star Wars um, it's got a really nice slip cover on it uh, the artwork on the inside is really nice let you get a little look at that um, movies themselves I know this came out uh, roughly, uh, I think, in about 2000, because the uh, Star Wars A New Hope, the first line of the description on the back says, set 30 years after Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Um, so this came out in 2000. I'm not exactly sure what exactly, what, what exact um, edition this is, because I'm not up on my Star Wars special edition editions. But it's, I really like the slipcover. It's got some really nice Sparks artwork. So for three bucks, I figured, why not? Can't have too much, uh, too much um, Star Wars. 
Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back a little bit farther back, uh, back to 1992 with the release of Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken on Laserdisc. This was a great movie. Uh, this is my introduction to uh, Gabrielle Anwar. I Now, she was in some stuff before this, but this was my first introduction to her. This was a great, great movie. Um, great stuff. Good, Really good movie. All right, so the next thing we have is Gone with the Wind, the new digitally remastered edition. Uh, this was released in 1992. This is a one of the two disc laser disc sets. It's got some really nice artwork on the inside of it. Let's see if I can show it to you without getting the uh, glare from the lens. Um, pretty nice stuff. Uh, it's got a little bit of a water damage to it, but for something that's, what, 30, 25 years old, it's not bad. Um, the laser discs themselves don't come in a just a, a plastic container. It actually comes in a really nice paper container. And so that's really cool. It's got some, um, actually, as I'm opening this up for the first time, it's got advertisement for some other laser discs that um, MGM put out, um, including some deluxe letterbox editions of it. That's really cool. Um, I might have to go track down some more of those. Uh, Let's see what's on. Let's see what the artwork on the other one is. Let's see if it's got some more, uh, more movies on it. Uh, it's actually actually the exact same thing. So sorry to waste your time on there, but uh, this is uh, this this is a really nice set. Um, the water damage really wasn't that wasn't that terrible on it. So that's it's it's really nice. Um, I'm really getting into these laser discs. And it's kind of sad because I've almost bought all of them that uh, where I get them from. I'm getting down to where there's just a few left that just I don't, I'm not interested in, but there's some that I am interested in that are kind of expensive. So I'm having to scale back on my laser discs because I've got another uh, collection that I've just started, which I will describe to you in the next video. But speaking of Gone with the Wind, I've got one more thing here for you. It's a VHS set. It's a really cool box set. I've never seen something like this before. Um, if you open it up, it's got this really, really nice packaging, nice, hard, sturdy plastic packaging. And it's got the two discs, or the uh, two tapes in there. It's got a reproduction of the original brochure with information about the making of the movie. Um, the entire cast, a uh, little write-up about uh, Vivian Lee as her portrayal of Scarlet and Clark Gable as his portrayal of Rhett, and some little-known facts, one of which was really, really, really interesting, and so I'll read this to you. It says, one camera shot, the pullback from the ruined Tara was, com was so complex that the studio called upon the UCLA Mathematics Department for help in calculating the proper speed of the camera. So that's just some interesting fun facts about this. Uh, this did come out in 1985, and so this thing is now 32 years old, depending on when it was released. Um, and it's actually called the Gone with the Wind Deluxe Gold Edition. I picked this up for $3, so great, great deal. And the final thing that I have for you today is a, um, a Walt Disney film, Chicken Little. Uh, to show you it was in a nice cool steel tin uh, nice 3d uh, 3d pop out artwork um, when you open it up it's just a plain old Jane old movie nothing special about it it's um, if I remember correctly it might have uh, some coupons in it and this is, is still complete so at the, the chapter listing and some coupons and a a brochure with some coupons for eggs that expired on December 31st, 2006. Uh, what else is, what else kind of stuff? It's just advertisements for just different movies that are coming out. Uh, so that's pretty neat. But what was really nice about this, what I really, really enjoyed was when you open it up, it has a COA in it. And this uh, certificate of authenticity confirms that this Chicken Little collectible DVD tin was produced in a limited number series of 3,500. This unique collectible tin uh, captures the personality and fun of some of your favorite Disney characters, Chicken Little and Friends. I'm sorry, not my favorite Disney characters at all.
Matter of fact, I've never actually seen this movie. Um, we hope that you enjoy this exclusive Disney Movie Club collectible DVD tin. This is limited series number 3386 out of 3500. So that's really, really cool to find. I think I paid like seven bucks for this. Totally worth it. Even if the movie sucks, it's totally worth it because it is a limited of 3500 and it's a Disney Movie Club exclusive. Um, I do have another Disney Movie Club exclusive, I think, or maybe two, I can't remember. But so that's really, really cool. And so with that, our new overall total is 1754. Our steel book jumps up to 177. Our new line platinum jumps up to 24. And our laser disc collection starts is starting to get up there with 19. So thanks for watching. Blessed be.